So apparently the Affliction League officially ended just a few minutes ago. Yes, yes, I found that out when I tried to log in and servers were down <laughs> at the exact moment I tried to make this video. Why? <laughs> nah, I don't believe in l bad luck. I don't believe in yeah, whatever negative word you might use here. I think it's all for the best always. Why do I talk about this? Anyway, <laughs> different topic. And what I, what I want to talk about in this video is campaign leveling stuff, as the title may have suggested, I don't know, but I'm going to start off with making a bold statement that would be... I think, or I'm quite sure that even if you're a complete beginner in terms of Path of Exile, not in terms of PC and video games at all, but if you're completely new to Path of Exile, you still have the potential to clear the entire campaign, all 10 eggs and the labyrinth within 5 to 6 hours. Easily, easily. Now, why is this good? This is good because, and this is kind of why I'm making this video, in my first few leaks when I played this game, I always felt like, okay, 8 p.m. game gets released, everybody plays it, everybody's at it, everyone is streaming it right, everything, everyone is hyped up, but for me it always felt like, okay, today is the day of suffering. Today I suffer, I do my leveling, and when I'm done with it, I can finally play the new league. This is what my head was all about, right? In a way, that is true. I mean, it's just true, but you can't just, you, you, you can not take away the leveling. This would be no fun as well. I, I mean, back then leveling was hell for me. And today it's like, I found my people with it. I enjoy it quite a lot because, I don't know, wouldn't wouldn't do it <laughs> all, all day or something. But leveling here and then is, is quite peaceful to my mind. I like it. However, however, it's still a fact that in order to experience the entire new league stuff, you kind of have to reach this being finished with the story and run into maps and do your stuff right to feel like you're really part of it in a way. And I'm gonna present to you some twists that um, are not about specifics, but just about some basic understanding how you can speed this all up. First of all, and this should be quite obvious, but what are you gonna play? You probably have a league starter in mind, right? If you have a league starter in mind, make sure that yeah, obviously you have your end game goal, what you wanna play. But what do you do before you can, before you have access to all the gems? For example, I wanna play discharge spell slinger when I'm leveling, but discharge spell slinger are high level gems, so I still have the first four or five eggs to finish, I believe. First four, first three, I don't know, something like that, um, before I can swap my entire um, setup, right? What am I gonna do till then? Because this is half of the story. What am I gonna do till then? And this has great potential even because you could technically, speedrunners are doing this, full clear everything up until Malakai normal, act four, finish within an hour. Okay, so you might as well make use of that because there's no twink items or no stuff bought from the market. It's all the items and stuff that the game provides you with. You can clear that within an hour instead of struggling three to four hours because you're not well, m maxing out what you could have, right, could be doing. Surely I get it that a lot of people like to, I don't know, get to know the new league mechanics and the maps and see what this is all about and play the game instead of just blindly running through the game and speed leveling, right? But in the end, it's, it's a waste of time, really. It's a waste of time. Maybe you have to understand this for yourself, so I'm not saying you shouldn't do this. You should definitely not do this, but you have to find out for yourself because I think doing the early... The leak mechanics early on in early leveling maps is never worth it. Maybe if you are struggling because content is too hard for you and you need somewhat item, then maybe you can do it once and grab up a good item. But don't, don't consistently do it. It's, it's a waste of time because the great rewards, the big rewards, the like the quantity. For example, Wisp. You can do the Wisp content, the Affliction con the content early on, but the amount of whips, Wisp you get rewarded is so low. It just makes the map harder and you don't really get big rewards, you get somewhat rewards, but it's not its not really worth it because it takes too much time, right? You pick up all these items to make your leveling faster and more efficient, but it takes so much time, it's not worth it. So just forget about that, just go plain into leveling. And the important part here is that if you have a league starter, then make sure that it's not only about your level 70, what you wanna do when you, when you hit level 70, but what, what do you do before that? Right. You can always get all the gems, Act 5, obviously, but what do you do before that? What do you do in the first half of the game? How do you play this game? Now, if you do not, are not fully aware what to do then, then I have two things, two options for you that are quite, um, quite effective. First of all, you just simply go to YouTube and you type in 
PUE League Starter 3.2.4, right? And maybe what you wanna play. For example, Zidrin made a video, I didn't w watch it yet, but I definitely looked if there's a PUB to it. Obviously there is. This guy put a lot of work in it, or he just stole it, I'm not sure. No, not talking bad, but I'm, I'm honestly not sure because I didn't watch it, but here's a PUB, you can open it. And the great part about PUBs like that, of people who put a lot of effort into it, is that it's not only the final PUB, it also provides you this here, level 13. What, what do you skill when you're level 13, right? And if you want to play a, <coughs> a similar build, you don't have to play this exactly, but if you play a similar build, you can always reskill your tree. But when you're level 13 and you play something similar, this is th this 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 are good points to take, right? So you can just um, you can just copy. You can just copy that off of builds that are similar. First of all, is that. First of all is that, so make sure that you find a similar build that has this and kind of guides you through it, what to skill, what skills to do and kind of look into it. Maybe make yourself some notes. This is the first thing. The thec second thing is that, <sighs> I don't know if this is the main speedrun site, I just typed in PoE P speedrun because every speedrun has to be 35, 30, 30, 30, Verified, verified, God, <laughs> what did I do here? Verified by a YouTube video. This means, if you see this, people are clearing the entire 10 eggs plus lap within three hours less. What is that? Now, to clear the entire campaign in th within three hours, or to, do, to have double the time, six hours, as I said, is, it, this is attainable. This is attainable, but because you cannot really slack that hard that it takes you more than double. You cannot, except if you decide to. You cannot, right? Because you don't have to know the game to hit five, six hours. You don't. Now, if you find a speedrun site, the great part here is what are you gonna play? Well, what are you gonna play? For me, example, I play Duelist. So I find one guy here, great. If you don't, then maybe go leak bag, I don't know. I find one guy here. I click on them. Mm, did I misclick? Yes, I did. I click on this guide, and to verify a speedrun, there has to be a YouTube video. Oh, this is a Twitch clip. But I could just check out this Twitch clip. It is three hours, but it's the entire story, so I can just, I don't know, lo look what this guy is doing. And honestly, you are then looking... You're looking at this. This is a big video. It's three hours. You can just not look at it and take three hours longer to, to level, one might argue. But if I click 25 minutes in, yeah, he starts here, and he has no uniques or twink leveling gear. This is the important part about speed leveling, right? Performer if I look at he he's already Act 2. What is that? Huh? 25 minutes done, he's already in Act 2. Okay, so if I watch 20 minutes of this, I learn a lot. I learn what skill he picks up, what he plays, I learn a lot, right? First of all, those two things, just look at that quick peek, it's gonna be fine. But now the really important part, the most important part of leveling fast in Path of Exile. First of all, understand that Every quest that exists in Path of Exile, well, that is not true, but most quests, or every quest in the story at least, you do not ever have to accept the quest first. You can just do the quest and finish it by speaking to the guy who, well, yeah, the guys are giving you quests, but you don't have to accept, accept them to be able to do the quest. So just run, clear every map. This could be your, the easiest approach. Just go through and clear every map. Just clear every map, full clear every map, pick up everything that is green, um, do all the stuff, go in all the entrances, and you'll 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 have y you did everything you can do, and everything is covered. But this takes a while. Now to make this a little bit easier, obviously speedrunners and more experienced players know that there are certain areas that um, are not worth doing because they don't reward you with anything important. Because some might give you passive skill points, some not. So if you've finished with level with leveling, make sure you slash passes, then you can see if you miss something out, and because you... Ah, what did I do? Why is this... Okay, this is an old character. <laughs> interesting, interesting. But, um, yeah. You can just go with your instincts, with your intuition of what to do, what to skip, and, yeah, if you're then done with the story, you can check if you are missing something or not, because this is the only thing you can really be missing. So there's no biggie. The other thing that you could miss technically is Trial of Ascendancy. So just open Trial of Ascendancy page and look where it is. So you don't have to be confused and full clear every map because, yeah, just look at this and you know in which act it is. Because if you are picking up a quest item or something, this is no biggie if you missed it. But 
if you missed the um, the, 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 the labyrinth trials, this is somewhat annoying sometimes because you have to find them again and run through the uh, half of the map and this is annoying. So open this and see where you are right now and find it on your way if you're new. But now to the most important part, to the most important part, that is to understand one very simple thing. This year, right, I can go here. Ah, oh, this is a good example. I can... How is this character so slow? Yeah, it's everything is ah because ah it was the self curse okay <laughs> nice okay um okay let let me let me go here at the coast right so I go here <coughs> now here's an entrance okay here's a door so to say here's an entrance so I could go in here blindly right I could just go in here. By the way, another tip, just pick up all the waypoints. Try to pick out every waypoint because, right, you, you know how it looks if you missed a waypoint. Did I miss one anywhere? No, I didn't. So I can't show you how this looks. But try to pick all the waypoints, then you're always safe. And if you have to go back, then that's just it. But yeah, well, I was here before. Now I went here, right? So I know that if I <coughs> enter this door, I go from here to there. But what this map also tells is that the other door on this map has to be to the right of this door. This means that... How did I do it in full? Right. Um, so let's say I am... Current, so I am moving here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So I am moving here, right? And now I'm currently here. Okay, I got my waypoint, I'm currently here. So if I then move into here, I then... And I know and I'm here now, and if I move back, I know that the next door, the next area, portal door whatsoever, has to be to my right. It has to be. It cannot be on the left side. It has to be to my right. This is a very important tool for you not to clear every map because this is what takes the most time. So, um, if I were to draw it like this, let's say this is all fog, right? You, are, you entered a new area. This is just a fog of war around you when you move, right? And you walk around, walk around, walk around, and then, then you find door, okay? You find door. And if you look at this, this is this door now. This is now this door. This is this area. This door leads you to the top area on your map. This door leads you to the top area, let's say, of the map, or here, to the top area, okay? This means that the next door is not gonna be here. Here is no door. You already know this. The door can't be to your left. The door can't be to your left because the next area is on, on your right. So the door cannot, in no map, be on your left. The door can only be on your right. So you go right, you find the next door. Now, what you do then is you just, you went here, you cleared this area, you went back, you go here and you just move on. So you maybe have only explored this much of the entire map and the rest is still black and you didn't go here, but you're done with the area. You are just done with the area, right? You do this, you do exactly this throughout the entire game and you try to pick out all the waypoints, obviously, as well. Um, so this is not really necessary, but try to pick out every waypoint you find um, along the way. But if you, have, if you have found all the doors and the waypoints, you're good to go. If you're missing anything, you can always go back. Shouldn't be much. It is. It wastes more time if you clear every map fully, than to just go back once or twice, right? And then if you're done with the entire um, leveling, if you're done, story is through. You just type in slash passives. You see if something is missing there. And um, oi, I see. Ah, I have zero points from this, so I, I missed something. I have to go back. I just do that. And I'm done then. I'm completely done. And if you do it like this, and if you don't slack, and if you just keep pressing left mouse, okay? Not pressing left mouse is lava. Take it like this. Always just move, 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 move. Rather, kill a lot of mobs if you're behind in level, than make sure that you're always higher in level. Rather, kill mobs when you're behind in level, than make sure that you're always up in level. So just move, 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 kill what's on your way, kill what seems easy to kill, just move, 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 keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Look look at your map. Um, for example, this area is great, this area is great. Uh, if I... Let me go here. This area is... Ah, this is a great example, okay. Let me show this. Okay. This has a similar layout always, so... This is... 
Yeah, well, I know this that this has a similar layout always, but if you're a new player, you don't know about the whole layout system and might think that it's random. But this is not random at all because, look, I came from there. I came from there. This year, the ossuary. Oh, no, I'm, I'm right. Wrong. Yeah, right. The ossuary is dusty. Sorry. I I was idiots. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the ossuary. If I walk into it, sorry for the loading screen, is this, right? So if I go back, um, I know I came from here. This means that this year the kennels has to be to the right. Has to be right, to, not left to it, but right to it. And if I move right, oh, the kennels, okay. This means if I then move down on this, if I walk down here, somewhere on the left side is going to be the cath cathedral rooftop, if I move here. I hope the mobs can't kill me because uh why is it lagging? Please. What is happening? Hello. Wait, I can die here. What a shame. <laughs> bricked bricked standard old characters, great. Um but I would know that there's a cathedral rooftop on the left somewhere. But if I just would move down, I find this the control blocks. So I already found this, the kennels and the control blocks. So I know that in between those two will be these two. I just noticed. So if you're a completely new player, you don't have to know the layouts, you don't have to know what to pick up and what not, you just pick up green items obviously, but you don't have to know any of this. You just look at the map and see where do I have to go, do I have to go right or do I have to go left, and you just go there. Easy. And if you follow this very simple method, you'll, f you'll be fine. You'll be finished with the campaign in 5 to 6 hours. This is perfect because... Oi, League starts for me, 8 p.m. So if I'm really trying to blast, but obviously it's League start, so it, if I'm really trying to blast, it would be four hours. But so it usually is five to six, probably. I can be done with the entire campaign leveling and still have some time left to dip into maps and stuff before I have to go to sleep. And next day I'm done with all of it. And how bad does it feel if you are sitting six hours leveling and you're always ha then you go to bed, you're all only halfway done, so the next day you still have to go to leveling and you miss two days. How you yeah, didn't really miss it, but it's like right, you, you know how I mean this. But yeah, just keep moving, never stop, keep moving, never stop. Do not read the leak mechanics, ignore the leak mechanics, keep moving. Try to look out where you have to go, where you already ran, try to look at the this system and go blast. And you will be done with the campaign in, in no time. As simple as that. Easy, easy. Good luck.